Good day everybody. Today I'll be doing a very challenging build and why it's very challenging you will come to know in this video. Let's talk about components what I have. I have 12700K, 12th generation i7, Z690i or motherboard, EVGA RTX 3090, silver stone 1000 watts power supply SFXL, thermal right air cooler SSN 120 with two ARGB fans, G scales 32 GB RAM. I have two 3.5 inch hard disk drive, one is 8 terabyte, another one is 3 terabyte. And for my primary drive, I will be using 2 terabyte P5 from Crucial SSD and VME. And I have very interesting thing in this box which I will be showing you later in this video. As I told you, this is a very challenging video. Why? Because I need to put all these components into my NR200 case. So let's see if I can successfully put all these components into this tiny ITX form factor case. What makes this video more challenging is that I committed myself to keep the tempered glass panel on the side by maintaining good airflow. And secondly, I will not ruin its appearance from inside. I will try to keep it as good looking as possible. So let's see how well I can do. And here is the beefy air cooler. As you can see with this cooler, I have zero zero clearance from the heatsink of NVMe with this cooler. I think I got lucky. Otherwise I would have to remove the heatsink if this much clearance was not there. I have enough clearance for the tall RAM. As you can see, it's a very open case, very easy to work with. So I ran into a problem that I cannot fix these two fans into one, one intake and one exhaust. For intake from the back side, I will be using uh, its own fan which came with the case NR200P. Later. A few moments later. One hour later. Two thousand years later. So after a lot of difficulties, as it's a very tight build, you can see I installed power supply, cooler, motherboard, CPU and some fans. I am using push configuration from outside. The exhaust will be on the top. Now here comes the difficult part. I need to put these two hard disks into this case. And also I need to have space to install my graphic card here. So what I'm going to do now, I have one hard disk enclosure which can accommodate two hard disks. And I'm going to fix it here. It has some pre-drilled holes and this one is totally mesh so I can uh, screw them very easily. I finally decide uh, not to use this fan because if I put this fan here it will 100% choke the fan and all the hot air will go to the hard drives and it will damage my hard drive in the long run. As you can see this beautiful build, this doesn't stop here. I have one more thing to do. In the beginning of the video, I told you there is something inside this and I'll be using with this build. So let me open this one. This is a three and a half inch screen which will show the stats of my computer and the beauty of this screen is that it will only use one usb connection no hdmi it will not detect as a secondary monitor it has uh, one software which can give you a lot of customization in line with the layout of this uh, stats screen uh, on the back side you can see it has three connectors you can use any one of them so i'll be using usb c connector with this and i will be installing this one here so i'll be using the white cable now look at this beautiful build this is what i call a challenging and beautiful build it's time for the final peel. And now let's power it up. So as you can see, finally, I have successfully made this build and uh, it looks really cool. You can see this control panel here. It, it shows like uh, a lot of different, different options. So if you have any comments, drop them into the comment section. Leave a like to this video if you like this build and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you.